Hey friend, welcome. Thanks for coming. I am Jen. I am a brand new part-time reseller on eBay. And in 2022, I'm going to expand that to other platforms. I don't exactly know what that's going to look like and when that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. So today is Monday, January 3rd, 2022. Can you even believe it? It's 2022 already. I really thought we would be, you know, living like the Jetsons by now, <laughs> but we're not. Anyway, I have some shipping that I have pulled to go to the post office this morning. These are things that have sold on January 1st and January 2nd. If you don't know, if this is your first time here, my goal is to make $1,000 in profit each month to just supplement my family's income. I am having so much fun. Last month in December, I actually met my goal really quick for the first time. So that was my third month. January is my fourth full month selling on eBay. So I'm really, really excited. I'm just in a really good mood right now. I did not have coffee. Uh, if you're my in real life friend, you might be like, oh, Jen had caffeine. I did not. <laughs> I learned my lesson. <laughs> uh, New Year's Day, I had caffeine for the first time in six months and I was like shaking all day. <laughs> my friends were like, oh, Jen, what did you do? The coffee was really good though. My friend Dan makes like the best coffee. It's so good. Okay, so <clears throat> I am shipping. I'm distracted. Okay, I am shipping and I'm, I have eight things that sold over the last two days. I am at 380 some items in my eBay store. It's not a store. I'm probably going to do that this month, but 380 some items eBay on eBay, listed on eBay. I'll get it out. Um, so I'm expecting about four items to sell every day. So eight items over the last two days, that's pretty much exactly what happened. So the first thing to sell, I'm not gonna completely pull the, these out, but they are just black jeans, uh, black leather pants, sorry. These came from my stepmom. She sent me a big box of stuff to resell and I kept some of it too, cause she has really good taste. So these sold for $33.10, $5.71 to ship them, eight, no, sorry. 571 in fees, 824 to ship them. So my profit on those was $19.15. Thanks so much, Reese. Then I sold this is a this is kind of funny to me. I don't know why it's funny. It is wool, but it's a tank top. It's just like a layering piece, I would imagine. Someone wearing it like under a blazer or something. Uh, the brand is Tahari, which I when I find it, I'm always like, eh, Tahari, whatever. But I've sold a lot of Tahari pieces, which, you know, considering I'm pretty new at this, that's, that's a lot. So this is actually a cashmere tank top. It sold for $25.75, $3.74 in fees. My shipping was $3.57 because it'll ship first class. It's pretty light. My cost of goods, it was $3 at a local thrift store here. So my profit on it is $15.44. I'm actually really pleased with my profit on these eight items. So the next thing I actually just bought in the last, um, in the last vlog. And I bought it kind of on a whim because it was on a dollar tag. Anyway, it's a Land's End, it's a cardigan, and it's a four extra large. So it cost me 90 cents because it was a dollar at the Goodwill, and then I have 10% off if I spend more than 20 or $25. So it sold for $29.30, $3.98 in fees, $4 and four sorry, $5.42 in shipping. So my profit on this is $19. I'm happy. All right, this is a big box of women's like career pieces. So blouses, there's a pair of pants, there's a scarf in here. My neighbor gave me a ton of clothes and a lot of items like Kohl's brands and just really nice pieces. So I lotted a lot of them up together and put them in just like priority boxes and we're going from there. So I do have to fix this because it's not in the right box. This is actually in a flat rate box and for some reason I messed up the shipping on that. So this did not sell for much, but 
considering my cost of goods was zero, I'm still happy with it. It was uh, $21.10 is what the buyer paid. So $2.95 in fees and $9.64 in shipping. Hopefully, hopefully it's not going to cost me more than that. And then $8.51 is my profit on that. These are Earth Origins. They're just sandals, which is kind of funny that sandals are selling, but you know, they are. So I've actually sold these already and then they were returned to me. They actually do smell like smoke. So I relisted them, said that they had an odor in the listing. So hopefully they won't get returned this time. I paid $1.05 for them at a yard sale in the fall. They sold for $26, $3.81 in fees, $5.42 in shipping. So my profit is $15.72, hopefully. The next thing is this Talbot uh, skirt. So I got this at the bins the first time I went. My cost of goods that day was $1.58. So this sold for $23.60, $3.38 in fees, $4.12 in shipping. So my profit on this little skirt is $14.52. A couple of months ago, my stepmom, my stepmom found out that I was reselling and sent me a big box of items to resell. And in that box was some jewelry. So this is a necklace that has um, little clip-on earrings to go with it. They're really cute. I really upped, I think my promoted listing on this, I do promoted listings sometimes. I don't really have a like plan for it, just kind of depends on my mood. <laughs> uh, but I knew that the jewelry is super saturated on eBay, so I did like 7% or something in my promoted listings. So this sold for $13.95, 234 in fees, 357 in shipping. My profit on that is eight dollars and four cents so thank you so much to Reese and then I will tell you all that last night I did my labels and stuff for so my total at that point was a hundred dollars and 38 cents and my average um, average profit on each item was fourteen dollars and 34 cents when I got up this morning something else had sold overnight so that last item is not included in those seven items in that average but a total profit of over a hundred dollars in two days i am just i'm absolutely starting the year off right and i'm really really excited so the last thing that did sell were these lane bryant jeans lane bryant jeans there it is i did find these at the bins they're just a gray jean I mean, there's nothing really else to say about that <laughs> They sold for $21.50, $3 in fees, $8.85 in shipping. So my profit on that was $8.70. And nope, sorry, $8.07. So I'm really, really happy about that. So today I have a lot to do. Um <clears throat> trying to get my house cleaned up, which is unrelated but necessary. Actually, some of it is related because some of it is just my binge trip, I recorded that haul yesterday and so I have stuff everywhere and I'm trying to get it put away. I also need to get that stuff put into my spreadsheet and photographed and work on listing. I am up to 10 listings every day. I've done that consistently for, I'm going to say four days, kind of slowly worked my way to 10 listings, but I'm going to keep it at 10 for now at least through January. I'm going to make sure that I'm able to source 300 items a month. That also takes me over the 250 like free items that eBay allows me to list. So I looked into, you know, if I could just add, it's like 35 cents, I think per item to add past the 250. But that 50 items takes me it's over $20 at 30 cents. So it's only 25 items, I think to open a store. So at some point this month, I will probably be opening an eBay store and I will probably take you along on the process with that. I also, okay, so I said spreadsheet, pictures, listing. Today, uh, my husband's phone messed up. Oh my goodness. So I had to go to a different, larger town um, and take his phone to be fixed which means I will be, and I will have like an hour while they're fixing it. So sounds like a 
Goodwill trip to me. So I'm going to be heading to the Goodwill in that town today. On Friday, my favorite little thrift store is reopening. They've been closed for almost a month now. And I am really excited. So it's going to be a busy week. I've got a lot, a lot going on. My very first, first thing is to get these things packed up and uh, head to the post office. Monday, my husband's phone broke and of no fault of his own. I'm not at all frustrated with him, but it changed the course of my few days. So yesterday was my daughter's sixth birthday and she and I spent a big chunk of our day going to another town for the second time and running errands to get my husband's phone situated. So we went Monday, and we went Tuesday, right? Yeah. What day is today? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Okay, so the first day we went, I stopped at the Goodwill. It's a nicer town than, no, I shouldn't say a nicer town. It's just a larger town than mine. The Goodwill's nicer, okay? Okay. I already listed this because it's a coat and I'm trying to get all my coats listed. This is a beautiful wool blend like pea coat, but it's a zipper, it's beige and it's like tweed and it is Banana Republic and it's new with tags. I will tell you, I bought it for $9 and I listed it for $88. I haven't sold it yet, but that's how much I listed it for. I got, sorry, <laughs> got a lot of good things at that Goodwill. I bought myself a hat. <laughs> the woods abide. It's, uh, you know, kind of funny. I wanted a hat to wear when I go camping. I'm not like a cap kind of girl, but when we're camping and my hair's gross, What did I get? Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, the blue tags were half off. So this was $3.50 plus. It's in the same system of Goodwill. So I got my 10% off. This is a Chico's size. Ooh. Anyway, it's a Chico size two. It is just a black shirt, but it was, <laughs> well, it's ridiculously, uh, what's the word? wrinkled now, but it, it's a really nice condition. I did not need a thing because I still have probably 130 things that I need to uh, photograph from the bins. But you know, when one is in another town, one goes to the Goodwill. This is just a Lucky Brand t-shirt. I've been wanting to try Lucky Brand shirts just to see how well they do for me. This was half off, so $2.25 plus the 20% off, so just over $2 for that. <laughs> More jeans. Did you see my bins haul? I have a lot of denim. We've got more denim. These are Levi's 515. They are high rise and boot cut, which was why I got them. And I think they were half off. They were half off, so 350. 
I think all the denim was half off because, you know, after you come ba back from the bins, you don't want to spend money on stuff. So again, three fifty. These are Talbots. High rise, and I think those are just straight. And these are LL Bean. I think the Talbots and the LL Bean are both my size, and so that's why I was like. I'm still on the hunt for a pair of jeans. Uh, so $350, again, a high rise boot cut. And, oh, actually, no, this isn't what I was thinking it is. Huh. I think I thought these were Nike. They're not, they're like the MTA Sports. They're 3X. Yeah, I'm certain I thought these were Nike. Huh. I wonder if I saw a different tag. Well, bummer. Let's see. I paid $2.25 for them. Maybe I'll just sell them. This is also half off. $2.25. And it is Abercrombie & Fitch. And I think I heard somebody say that that is kind of starting to make a comeback. So that's why I picked it up and I thought it was really cute. Actually, maybe I'll try that on. It's kind of cute. Okay, so that was Monday. So my plan was on Monday, I had to drop off the phone and I had two hours. They said the repair was gonna be two hours. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to two thrift stores. So I went to the Goodwill first and then I was getting ready. I was coming out of the Goodwill and they called and they said, there's something else wrong with the phone. We have to get the part. It's going to be tomorrow. And I was like, tomorrow I have to come back. So I went ahead and went home and then I just thought, you know what, tomorrow I'll come back and go to a different thrift store. So I kind of just picked one randomly and I walked in and it was a half off day. So exciting. If I had gone on Monday, it wouldn't have been half off. Their pricing was already pretty phenomenal. Now, if it hadn't been half off, I probably wouldn't have bought, there's quite a few things I know I wouldn't have bought, but look at this stack. Isn't that fantastic? Okay. These are Hannah Anderson, and clearly they were, you know, some, what's the word? Like a discount something. And uh, like a cast off from yeah, they're practically new. That's what I'm trying to say. So they're just basic little t-shirts, but I know I can at least, you know, get $5 for them at my consignment sale if I don't sell them. So they were $1.99, half off of that. So this is a size 5 in the green, a size 5 in the blue, a size, oh, I thought I bought a 4. Size 4 or another size five. Oh, hey, hey, this one actually has a tag on it. Uh, I mean, they retail for $18, which this is a size six, seven, which is kind of funny because I thought, oh, if one of these is my daughter's size, but this is the one that's new with tags. Maybe I won't let her have that. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. One of my daughters is consistently saying like, Oh, you can sell that. And so, I'm like, just because I sell things doesn't mean we can't have nice things. Like, you can, you can have nice things. That's okay. Oh, these are in my way back here, so I'll go ahead and show you these. So these were priced at $4.99, so half off of that. They are Footprints by Birkenstock. And they're just little loafers, but they are in really nice condition. They look really good. So I comped them, I think they were like $40. We'll see. Oh yeah, this is what I was thinking was earlier. This is the North Face and they are like leggings, They're really thick. I did not comp them because stuff was so cheap. I paid $2.50 for these. Yeah, um, did I, oh, there were quite a few things that were new with tags. So this is one of those. This is a uh, John Bartlett Consensus. I bought this because I think my husband will like it. I think is why I bought that. Maybe I did comp that. I did comp quite a few things because there were some brands that I was not familiar with that were 
we'll get there. There's some good stuff in here. Uh, this is Adidas and it's like a dry fit kind of long sleeve. It's cute. How much should I pay for that? $1.50. I found some scrubs. Cute ones too. This is a Care Bears. The scrubs are what I probably wouldn't have bought. I wouldn't have spent. They were $5 originally, so they were $2.50. So Care Bears. Uh, this one is Bambi. Isn't that adorable? And these are all extra large or larger. And then there's one more that is Eeyore. So I wouldn't have paid $5 for them, but I'll pay $2.50 for a scrub top. Sure. And then this is Concrete Mix is the brand. It is, I'm pretty sure that is a um, vintage tag. <laughs> so this is just like a Grandpa Cosby looking sweater. I don't know. Is Cosby a good keyword I should use? But I did comp this and an exact one I think sold for $40. So I'm happy about that. This is another one I bought because I thought, well, okay, there were three reasons. One, I thought if it doesn't comp well, my husband will like it. It is a silk blend. Chaps is the brand. It's not any big deal, uh, but it was new with tags and a silk blend, which is why I went ahead and bought it. Plus knowing like my husband might like it. So it's just a, like a lightweight V-neck sweater nothing nothing terribly exciting this i bought without comping it's chico's again it is new with tags and it's like a little cardigan blazer it's black and white but look at the detail on the back with that lace isn't that pretty i thought it was pretty and since it was new with tags the price is cut off, but it does say $59.99, like, written on there. Who knows? <laughs> I seriously was, I was going through the pants, and I was like, man, I wish I could find some Torrid. And then <laughs> the next one was Torrid. I don't know that I've sold Torrid, but I enjoy finding it. It's very exciting. So those are Torrid. They're 24, size 24. And they're just, um, like, khaki I think they're capris, which, you know. Oh, I haven't told you the prices of these things. Goodness. Okay. These were $2. This Chico's was $2.50. This Chaps sweater, which actually does have the original price still on it. I don't know where that is. Paid $2 for that. And this sweater I paid $2 for. So you know what I mean? Like really good prices, really good. I found another pair of Levi's, paid $2 for them. They are five of fives, straight leg, and high rise. I'm really trying, really, really trying hard to stick with the high rise and the, oh, this was the piece. This comped high like high the brand is I know a like I N O A H okay there was another piece that had a tag very similar the script on the tag was very similar but it was different and I don't remember what it was it was like Nua or something like that those comps weren't great this is made in the US and it's one of those like art to wear kind of shirts. And if I remember correctly, the comps were at like $60. I paid $1.50 for it. It blows my mind every time. It just absolutely blows my mind. I didn't comp this. It's Bryn Walker. It's orange. I don't know why I'm like obsessed with orange, but it is a linen shirt. And it is, I paid a dollar ninety, a dollar fifty for it. It has this like, I don't know why it does that, but it's very like oversized and just flowy, kind of boho-y, hundred percent linen. 
This I also paid $1.50 for. This is Talbot's. It is not wool. It's nylon and spandex, but it was the $1.50 that got me. It's just a pink sweater. And, oh, this was cute. I did comp this, but I don't remember what it, it, what it was. But it was good enough that I bought it. Uh, Authentic Western Young Bloods is the brand. And then it is just a really lightweight button up, but it is pearl snaps. So that's why I got that. Another $1.50. I did comp this. This is Cooley Bar. And it's one of those like UV protected shirts. Thought it was perfect for spring break coming up. Oh, I was excited about this. Also, a dollar fifty. This was Abercrombie and Fitch, and I'm pretty sure that that is vintage. It is a hundred percent wool, extra large. I got to get back to my page. Okay. It's just a pretty plain, basic navy sweater, but it is cozy and wool and delightful. Then two more things. I have this J Crew. I didn't comp these. But they're J Crew and they're just pink, which isn't normally something I would buy. I did comp these. I remember looking up the pink jeans. So like straight leg. Oh, they're button fly. That was another reason I bought them. And they are new with tags. So I paid $2.50 for these. And then I bought a bag. <laughs> Just hit myself in the face with the bag. This is an Under Armour Storm One, like a duffel bag. And it looks like it's in really good condition. It's one of those that has like the pocket for the shoes. So, you know, your shoes don't get everything in your duffel bag dirty. I paid, I did pay $4 for this, but it was comping, I believe, at $40. Now look at that, like the bottom isn't even dirty. So, I'm really pleased. I was very, very excited when I went into the store and saw that it was half off. And then I started going through the racks going, oh my goodness, these are like, there were a lot of really good brands, um, you know, where... In my town, I go through tons and tons and tons of things. Like there were good brands that I didn't pick up because I had so many options to choose from. Whereas, you know, in my town, I, if I see an okay brand, I'm like, I have to get it. <laughs> Even if it's like five or $6 and I don't really want to pay that. So they told me that it's the first Tuesday of every month, which is their half off sales. So I put it in my calendar and I am planning to go back because when I went, it was the afternoon. So I'm almost wondering if it was even better in the morning, you know, when it hadn't been picked over already. So it wasn't super busy. It was also one of the thrift stores that benefits like a homeless shelter, which I love supporting, love giving my money to them. Um, I always round up at those kind of places because yeah, let's put some money back into the community and to the people that need it. So that is my haul for today. I have a ginormous box of stuff to photograph and I am going to photograph all this. I have to get all of that put into my spreadsheet. None of my bin stuff has been put into my spreadsheet because it's a lot. So I'm doing it as I'm photographing it just to kind of break it up a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and I think get this stuff um, photographed so I can get it drafted and listed. I'm trying to think. I think that is really all I have planned for today is to seriously spend like three or four hours taking pictures, which sounds dreadfully boring, but I'll put some YouTube videos on in the background. Well, well, we have some soul. I'm a weirdo. Okay. We have some things that are going out tomorrow morning. It is Wednesday night. I think I'm still unclear on what day it is. All right, I'll show you. So I bought these, they're bath band, but they're like tactical and then a rip stop fabric. I bought these at my favorite thrift store for 78 cents. I sold them for 28.55. 
four dollars and three cents in fees, eight forty-eight twenty-four in shipping, so profit of fifteen dollars and fifty cents on these. I also sold a Bangles hat. Gotta love those bangles. <laughs> I bought this at the bins for a dollar fifty-eight the first time I went. Sold it for fourteen fifteen. 218 in fees, 409 in shipping, so my profit is six dollars and thirty cents. Not bad for something I just picked up at the bins, right? My little thrifty daughter picked this out at a thrift store at the beginning, like before Christmas. And we paid too much for it <laughs> at 386. I don't think that was actually how much we paid for it. It was like an average cost of goods. Uh, but it sold for ten dollars, one sixty-one in fees, three thirty-five in shipping, so a full profit of a dollar and eighteen cents. But it's not living in my house anymore, so we are all good. This bag is really cool. I found it also at my favorite thrift store for seventy-eight cents, so I must have found it the same day I found those pants. It's really cool. It's like a What's that called? Coated, and then this part's canvas. It's really cute. And my buyer bought it for $31.85. My fees were $5.45, $4.20 in shipping. So a profit of $21.42. And I'm not entirely sure how to ship it. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to figure that out. This made well sweater I found at the bins. So I paid $1.58 for them. The buyer bought it for $28.70, $5.13 in fees, $7.88 in shipping. So my profit on that is $14.11. Oh, that was pretty good. He sold my fluffy little penguin. She's just a Oh, look at her. Isn't she cute? I'm assuming she's the she. It's rude of me. Uh, Destination Nation is the brand on her and she's seriously so soft. Um, I bought her at the Goodwill just like the week after Christmas with my mother-in-law and I paid $1.80 and I sold her for $18.65, $3.12 in fees, $4.53 in shipping. So my profit on that penguin is $12.32. It's still blows my mind <laughs> that I can make money on stuffed animals. I'll take it though. I will take it. I also sold some Crocs. These, okay, it says I got them at a yard sale for $7.20. That doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not entirely sure. I also feel like $7 is a lot. I don't know. Okay, anyway, the buyer paid $26.02. $4.28 in fees, $7.16 in shipping. I have to check that. Because I was thinking that was priority, but these are super light. Okay, I'll have to look at that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, my profit is $7.38. These I'm very excited to sell. These are the Salamons I just bought at the Goodwill. I bought those for $6. I listed them for $70. I got an offer for $50 and I thought, I'm going to sell them and make some profit and get them out of my house. So the buyer paid $65.20, $8.48 in fees, $11.69 in shipping. And so $39.03 is my profit on that, $40 for some sneakers that no longer live in my closet. <laughs> they stayed for a short time. I was happy to have them, but I'm more happy to let them go. This is a Blackhawks jersey. It is little and like a three toddler and it's new with tags. Woo, shiny tag. Uh, I sold this for $18.89. $2.78 was my fees. Three, blah, blah. getting tongue twisted here. 351 in shipping and I paid two dollars for that at a consignment sale in the fall so my total profit on this little shirt is ten dollars and sixty cents this is three days 
So the 3rd, 4th, and 5th of January, three days. The 3rd, I sold seven things, eight, six things, and it was all like 21, 14, 12, 39, 10, all the like high profit <laughs> ones. And then yesterday I sold two items and my total profit on those two items was $7. And then today I sold those bass. So I kind of did it backwards. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the third was a really good day. I was happy with that. So I don't know if I said my total profit was $115.52 over those three days. So not, not too bad, really. I'm getting there, getting there, working my way up. I took a ton of pictures today. I am still listing, getting my drafts done. Right now I'm going to get that packed up and her. <laughs> I want to just cuddle her though. She's very, very soft. Um, I'm going to get these packed up and then tomorrow morning I will head to the, I almost said the thrift store. I'm not going to the thrift store. Oh no. <laughs> um, post office. That's where I'm going. I'm going to go to the post office tomorrow at some point. And, uh, but Friday I'm going thrifting. Don't need to, but I'm still going. Okay. I have to go fast because I have to get to the post office or I have to get to the thrift store when it opens because our brand new, not our brand new, our, my favorite thrift store is reopening today in 30 minutes and it takes me 15 minutes to get there. So I need to leave. So I did have four sales just in the last 24 hours, which I'm thrilled with. The first one, actually this was the last one, but it's the one I'm holding, was this jacket. This isn't it. I overpaid for shipping because it wasn't that jacket. This one's a little lighter. Oh well. Uh, it's just a pretty trashed, thrashed, I used in the description. Jack Work jacket kind of looks like a Carhartt, but it's not. It's Walls brand. It sold for $47.80 at $6.30 in fees, $10.43 in shipping. Ugh. So my total profit was $29.95 because I found that at the bins just this last time when I went with my daughter. This was also a bins find but it was the first time I went and I'm not going to pull it all out because it was a bear. It's like that one piece fleece pajama thing but it's adult sized. <laughs> so I bought that at the bins for $1.58 the first time I went. $14. Sorry hold on. I messed up my numbers here earlier. $32.55 is what the buyer paid. My fees were $5.35, $7.79 to ship it. So my profit on that was $23.18. Just amazing. I sold these little patty pads. I've talked about these before. They're just little baby shoes. I found these at the consignment sale in the fall. The buyer paid $14.30, which is actually a really good deal for the buyer. I think uh, $2.20 in fees. They'll ship first class for $3.35. So my profit on these was $9.45. And then the last thing, I just bought these last week with my mother-in-law. And uh, I'm really excited <laughs> that these went so fast. But they are L.L. Bean brand. They're just like little suede loafer things. They sold for $36.38, so after $4.87 in fees and $8.85 in shipping, I paid $6.30 for them at the Goodwill, and so my profit on those are $21.23. My total profit just yesterday was $83.81, so I'm super excited. I'm going to get this packed up real quick and head out. We're going to go to the thrift store and then to the post office. Well, friend, that was incredibly gratifying. I have 44 items to share with you, and I'm not going to tell you how much I spent until the end. I'm going to make you wait. So good. So many good things. I came out with six bags, uh, like... Four of them were grocery sized and two of them were garbage bag sized. I don't even know where to start. I'm just going to pick a bag and go with it. Okay, 
So the first thing is Lauren Ralph Lauren little khaki shorts. Then found a scrub top. It is SpongeBob. Not my favorite character in the world, but it is an extra large and it's a scrub top. And you know I love my scrub tops. This is a pink small long sleeve. This I did comp because I know pink and Victoria's Secret stuff can be quite oversaturated. So, but it did look pretty decent and it was around $20, I think, for the t-shirt. So, that's cool. This I didn't comp. Uh, Wound Up is the brand. I don't think that means anything at all. But it says, kindness is universal. And I just thought it was cute. And I thought, if it's not worth anything, I can either put it in my consignment sale or one of my kids will wear it. These I comped. The brand is Real Work Wear. The sell-through wasn't as good as I would want it to be. But actually, it wasn't bad. I feel like it was at least 50%. You know, I try to hit those 100%, but it is a large what size is it 2xl denim work shirt with pearl snaps so that was what made me look it up but they were like twenty dollars and i say they because i have another one and another one <laughs> and oh yet yet another one so I think they're vintage. Oh, that one's a 3X. I was thinking they were all the same size. It's a 2XLT. And this one is a 2XLT. So maybe I'll lot those two up together. We'll see. All right. This I dumped out, this pile, I dumped out of a large, very large garbage bag. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> All right, my daughter found this. It's a Levi's jacket. It is a size P? What kind of size is that? Oh, small. <laughs> anyway, it is like a denim, black denim work coat. I didn't comp it. I was just like, yes. <laughs> okay, anyway. All this stuff I didn't comp, I think probably $15. Adidas, it's like a zip. I will shoot for, you know, 25 ish on all of these, like hoodies and stuff. But if I can get 15 for them, I'll be happy. This is an NFL brand, and it is the Colts, which is a football team in Indiana. This is Adidas, another Adidas. My daughter, well, I won't tell you which one, but one of my daughters for the longest time called this brand Adidas. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Maybe she's right. Maybe the rest of us are wrong. This is Under Armour. This is one of those like cow necky, <laughs> necky. It's an extra large, uh, but the, like the hoodie has kind of the cowl neck thing here. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean. Big logo on it. Ah, maybe a big stain on it as well. Hmm. Perhaps. It's okay. I have a couple things that I know for sure are going to need to sit in some OxyClean overnight. Whew. So we'll just add that to the pile. This is a Sarge, Sarge. <laughs> size, extra large tall. And it is a denim work jacket. Again, I feel like these are super popular around here. It's hooded. I comped this exact coat sold for $50. I'm hoping I can also sell that for $50. We shall see. This one is L.L. Bean. And it is just like a quarter zip. Oh no, it's full zip fleece. 
it is polar tech. I don't know what that means other than it probably is warm, <laughs> like fleece on the inside. Okay, two down, four more to go. This is the other thing that's gonna have to soak because it's gross. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I took it up and the guy was like, oh, I would have thrown that in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm trying to keep things out of landfills, so if I can take him home and let him soak in OxyClean, he's a Squishmallow, which I've never found before, so I was rather happy about that, but yeah, he's real icky. I thought he was perfectly cute for Valentine's Day coming up. This, <laughs> this says tropical vibes, and it's just like a woven uh like it looks like a basket what would that be called jute yeah the brand is nothing there's no anything but i just thought it was kind of cool and it looks new like it doesn't even look like it's been worn it's really cute a little odd <laughs> but cute and oh uh, yeah i don't know if this is worth anything. I also did not comp it out, but it is a 31 bag and it's just like a purse thing. I don't know. When I tell you at the end how much I paid for all of this, you're going to be like, oh yeah, no wonder she bought all that stuff. Because it's crazy. So cheap. Oh yeah. My daughter found these. These are Reebok flip flops. They're also like breast cancer awareness ones, which I don't know if that adds value or takes value away, but it's part of it. <laughs> Bag number, what are we on? Four. This is a Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt. Didn't comp that. Levi Strauss 505s because I need more denim, like I need a hole in my head. <laughs> but these are like tan denim. Actually got a lot of denim here. Here's another one. Levi's high rise ankle straight. And I think these are kids. Tens. But they're kind of, you know, distressed. And apparently that's popular with kids. Uh, this is a Land's End. And it is like a golf pullover thing. Shirt. Should I be telling you the sizes? I don't know. This is a true fan, extra large. This actually might be vintage, I don't know. But it is a Colts polo. But I just thought it was looked really nice condition and I felt like, you know, people who want to support their Colts in a polo might enjoy that. Oh, I was excited about this. This is the North Face and it's real faded it's an extra large and but it's like a dry fit kind of I'm sure they don't call it dry fit because that's a Nike thing I can't tell on the, the tags faded but it just looked I didn't see any stains or pulls on it so I think it does it might need to take a soak in the oxyclean because the white on there is kind of dingy my oxy pile okay these are american eagle extreme flex i don't know what that means it does say it's uh finished by hand these are 30 34s so they were kind of distressed they're cut off i think they were in the women's and i thought they were women's <laughs> Maybe no, no. This is kind of cool. I didn't comp it. Just thought it was cool. It's a sweater. Very obviously um, vintage. It's made in the U.S. of A. Snoopy and Friends is the brand. I feel like I'm being weird. I don't know why. Thanks for watching through my weirdness. Okay. And... Oh, this was a Levi, uh, just a plaid, and pearl snaps. 
I don't know if pearl snaps really mean anything, <laughs> but I keep picking them up. This is called the Sweatshirt Project. I don't remember, I think it was a couple weeks ago, I picked up a Sweatshirt Project shirt for myself and I had to take it back because it was all ripped up. Um, I still haven't taken it back, so hopefully I can still do that, but I don't know. It just, they look cozy. I, I didn't comp it out because I thought if it doesn't comp well, I'll wear it. These, uh, I was kind of bummed because they had quite a few of those like swooshy pants. That's what I call them. Like the nylon swoosh, 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 when you walk, right? But none of them, they were all like Walmart brands. None of them were like Nike or anything like that. So this is not, I don't, I don't think this isn't anything brand either. MTA sports, but it's a double X and it was new with tags. So I thought at the price, I mean, new with tags price was 39. So the retail price is $39. So certainly these are not the swishy swishy pants, but I was on the lookout for them. <laughs> Didn't find any. It for that bag oh my so they have like a lot of these things are on hangers and you look through them but the little kid stuff like the baby stuff they just kind of dump in a bin this is not my it just takes a lot of time to go through that right and so unless I'm actually at the bins I'm like I don't want to mess with it my daughter was with me <laughs> She likes to dig, so she did dig through the plush. We didn't find much plush, there's a couple. I'll show you, but then she also dug through the baby stuff and she pulled out some good ones. I didn't comp any of it. Um, I'm just, I'm just going with it. Oh, you know what? There was another little dress, but I don't think she actually got to that. This is denim. It's just like a little, um, very obviously, actually, so it's made in China, but I would say that this is uh, vintage. Rachel's Kids is the brand. I just thought it was cute and needed a new home. She found some Jimbery jeans. And then here is, wait, I thought there was another pair of Jimbery jeans. Maybe not stash of things this girl found for me. She's so good. Baby Bagosh. Vintage. It's cotton made in the USA. So these are 18 months and they are overalls. Now I know that Oshkosh overalls used to be like the big thing and now they're not so much anymore. They still comped pretty well. Another pair of Baby Bagosh Vintage. What size are these? 24 months. It's probably the same people. Because these are shorts. Short alls. <laughs> right? The baby wore them in the, in the long ones in the winter and then the short ones in the summer. And then I wish that these, these actually still, when I comped these, some of them are still being sold for like $80. I don't think I'm going to get $80 out of these, but maybe like 30 or 40 Oshkosh floral overalls and they're vintage for sure. So these are two T's. She did some good digging and then she found little baby Levi's. What size are these? Little Levi's, 24 months. These are not made in the US, but they do have the orange tab. So, kudos to my 11 year old. She's on fire. I'm also just thankful I didn't have to dig through those bins. Okay, this, um, I meant to comp this and then I didn't and then I forgot about it. I went, got home and was going through the bags and I was like, oh, I never comped that. It'll be fine, I'm not worried about it. It's Mona Tech. It's kind of like a flannel, but it's not flannel. Also, 
pearl snaps. If I haven't said this week, I am not a professional. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I have not been doing this for years. I don't have years of experience and I don't know exactly what's going to sell or how much money. I go and I pick things up and I do my best and I'm just sharing it with you. So uh, please don't go and pick up a bunch of Pearl Snap shirts <laughs> or vintage baby Oshkosh and be like, Jen said, no, no, Jen did not say. Jen just picked these up and uh, is doing her best. <laughs> so this is a Duluth trading company. It is a flannel, it's red, white, and blue. It's not Pearl Snaps. It's just regular old buttons on that one. <laughs> All right, two more pairs of jeans. Guess what brand? Levi's. Again, why am I picking up all these Levi's? I don't know. I think somebody once upon a time said, hey, Levi's are really good. <laughs> Pick them up. And so then I get in my head that I need to sell all the Levi's. These are adjustable. They're size, they're kids, size 10s. I'm not concerned. And when I tell you what I paid, you won't be concerned for me either. These are also 10s. And I think I have like two more pairs of 10s, Levi's, kids 10s. Somebody out there is going to think I have a 10-year-old with a Levi problem. <laughs> They're also adjustable waist, which if you have children, you know the adjustable waist is just worth its weight in gold because the jeans never fit. They just don't. Okay. One more back. Shoes. Check these Merrells out. Okay, there's another one exactly like that one. All right, this is um, Echo. I only got this because, one, they look excellent. They're a little dirty, but they are in excellent condition. And Kathy, Ginger Marvin Kathy, bought Echoes the other day, so I was like, I should too. Be like Kathy. Don't be like that. No. Um, these are in a box. These are sass. They're just white comfort shoes. I did uh, comp these and they comped well. Like $20 to $30, I think. My daughter found this little bear. I don't think he's anything. Oh, Hallmark. Yeah, he had new, he's new with tags, and I just, you know, he's got a little heart, so. And then she found Tigger, which Tigger's also a rattle. Again, I don't think I'm going to get much money for him, but sometimes it's worth it to make my daughter happy. Um, I'm getting nothing. He's just a little tiny Tigger. And... <laughs> my daughter found a selfie stick, and she was like, oh... I don't remember what she said to get it for and I was like yeah get that because <laughs> um, I'm not great with the camera and selfie mode so maybe this will help okay you saw them all 45 items did you count I didn't count I mean I counted before I showed you but okay 45 items how much do you think I spent tell me in the comments right now I'm gonna wait Okay, here we go, drum roll. Six bags, 45 items. Was this like five, four pairs of shoes? Three coats, $20. $20. My average cost of goods is 44 cents. <laughs> I'm just, I can't. I, I, mm. And then the guy's like apologizing because he apparently charged me too much for the size of the bag. I was like, actually, he only charged me $19 and I handed him the 20 and I was like, you can keep the change. Because I knew I at least have a $50 coat in here plus all the other items. 
I mean, if I average sale, pro if my average profit on this is $10, which I think is quite doable, it's $450 out of a $20 investment. Okay, that's why it's my favorite thrift store. All right, it's Friday night. I am going to go watch a movie with my family and we, I'm going to, while I'm doing that, I'm going to enter all this stuff in my spreadsheet. And then I'm not going to do a thing tomorrow. I say that. <laughs> but my intention is to not do anything eBay or YouTube related tomorrow and just spend time with my family until probably Sunday late afternoon, evening. So I'm going to end our time together this week here and just say thank you so much for joining me. I'm excited to see what next week brings and hopefully a lot of this will get sold and we'll just be amazed together that people buy these things and I'm just, I'm just not completely blown away on a pretty regular basis. So thanks so much for hanging out, for joining me and I would really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up, a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't. And honestly, it would be a huge help if you would share this video with your friends. Maybe somebody who's interested in reselling or has started out like me and would be interested in seeing a little bit of the journey of uh, the craziness of reselling. So you can also check out another video right here and I will see you soon.